Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Survival Unchained, episode four. It is time to do something that I have been meaning to do for quite a while, and that is take a look at the skills book. And I went ahead and made it to see if there's anything I needed to know before I started the episode or if it's even something we can do. So I got it made, and it is very interesting, and I'll get into it in a second. But first, I want to go over anything that's kind of new in between episodes we did in between streams. Streams are every Sunday, 2 p.m. EST. We're not doing one this week, though, so I'll, I'll post an update on that. Regardless. All right. So, first things first, we added some defense. I know you guys have been seeing me grow some bamboo in this thing for a while. It was pretty easy. You just need slabs and uh, the bamboo, and then you can make these spikes. And I covered them around the base. And on top of that, I made a little um, little slab thing and put some water. Keep it safe from creepers, maybe. I don't really know. And then, oh my gosh, is that a baby turtle? Josiah. <gasps> oh, there you are. Thought you ran off. All right, get in the house. Right now. You are mine. All right, watch out. Avoid the spikes, buddy. As best as you can. Oh, come on in. Come on in. Yes! Yes! Okay, okay, okay. Uh. Uh. I guess I need a fence. Oh, we have one. That's so convenient. Okay. <laughs> Do we have a name tag? I feel like I've looted a name tag. Alright, that's how you spell Josiah, right? Here you go. Josiah. Alright, welcome to the home. Welcome to the family. Today we're checking out Book of Skills. I don't know if you've got any skills, little turtle, but, uh, you know, you're welcome to, you're welcome to play along. Okay, so, one thing before we get started. I think, I finally figured out what was happening to the weapons. This is my third diamond halberd. The freaking weeping angels, they, they yoink your weapon if they hit you. Alright, I don't know if they yoink your weapon specifically. But it appears like they yoink the, the thing that's in your first slot, at the very least. So maybe I'm going to try this, but I would assume it's the thing you're holding that they take. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And then on top of that, I got this enchant on this, uh, this one called Knowledge of the Ages. And it lets me, when I eliminate something, convert the drops into experience. And I haven't even tried it, really, so... Oh, I'm level 13. I'm level 20?! Come here, fish. XP farm. Fish XP. Oh my gosh, are we just gonna get to level 30? Oh my gosh. Okay, there's actually, you know what, we're fine. We don't need to get to 30. Okay, so the book of skills, it's pretty interesting. I took a quick look at it to see what we got going on. And I think this is the one we unlocked in like the first episode when we found that one skill page. And then, okay, so basically, you click on one of these once you open it, and you can upgrade your level of whatever your skill is. So this one makes furnaces smelt faster around you, which I don't think that seems too interesting. This one's attack speed. I think I leveled this one up once. It's not too expensive. I wanted to see how the leveling worked. Um, and it was one level. And I think, yeah, this is only 32 XP to level it up, and I have 802. It's not your level. It's your, like, your XP. So... You can level that up pretty good, and it goes gets higher every single time. And then there's cutting, there's digging. I don't think those matter too much. Fast swimmer. It's only a few XP. Might as well might as well put like three in each of these, just because it's so cheap to get the first one. All right, the next is climbing speed of ladder. That's pretty good. Jump height. That's kind of good. Mining speed will probably be really good. So I put a, I put like six into that. PvP protection, we probably don't need this at all. There's no, hopefully there's no other players here. Uh, decreases fall damage, that's probably useful. Strong fist, increases melee damage dealt to any entity. That's also good. Treasure sand, allows us to find treasures from sand. Interesting. I didn't level that one up at all. What's up, Josiah? We also had this one I found a while ago, which was the Alchemist. What if I... What does this guy do? Where's that at? Alchemist. Boost the speed of the brewing stand. Very good for those who do a lot of alchemy. We do not have a brewing stand. Okay, and then there's also a bunch of these. So there's Sharp Arrow, which I guess drops from skeletons with a 2.5% chance. I don't think we've gotten one yet. Dexterous arms. 
Uh, what does this do? Abandoned mine shafts. We could... Ooh, we haven't found one of those. Enchanter in Fortress. We can't get that. Drops from Enderman. Uh, found in underground spawner rooms. Defensive skin. Fast growth found in jungle temples. That's creative. We're not in creative. Experience harvesting. Elder Guardian. Treasure of the Sands. Desert temples. We got that. Even though it's a jungle temple. Pit piglins. Ancient cities. Nether fortress. Fishing. And librarian. I don't think... Oh, wait. And there's also these. Wait. What is this? Page with abilities. Blacksmith. Page with ability. Auto XP bank. Ender pearl bottle of enchanting and redstone dust. Drop together on a parchment fragment. Oh, wait, wait. Can we make any of these? Ender pearl. It looks like all of these use ender pearls. What's enchantment? Okay, so we'll do enchantment table, bookshelf, and ender pearl. Do we have that? You know what? We might have lost that parchment fragment, didn't we? Hmm. So maybe we can't do this right away. I wonder if we could go explore and try to find another parchment fragment, because I think we found that in the village. Maybe if we go find another village, we can, uh, we can go get one. Ooh, and you know what? I forgot to mention, we got this waystone in the base now. They weren't too expensive. It was just some ender pearls and, uh, one emerald, I think. And then obsidian. Yeah, we got it. We kind of just made obsidian stuff. So, oh, that guy is cooking with speed. Oh, he's coming right for me. Okay. I hope there's no weeping angels here to take my weapon again. He has 156 health? What is hitting me? Oh, there's a weeping angel. Oh, it took my shovel. Okay, we're safe. You just have to have him in the first slot. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Get back. Get back. Bro. Oh! Okay, we gotta, we gotta get this stuff back very fast. Okay. Inside the base. The spikes seem to work pretty good. They run into him. I don't even know if I grabbed everything. I think I did. Okay, we're just going to take our waystone, which I guess this is the only one we can afford because we don't have XP now. So I guess we just keep something random in the first slot. They take something out of your first slot. That's good. What's also... There's also this thing. I don't think we're strong enough for that just yet. Okay, so... Oh, no. Did the map reset? I updated and the map might have reset. I also copied the world over because I was having a few issues... So I like cloned the world. So I guess we lost our map, but that's all right. We'll go this way. I know we haven't gone this way. See if we can find another village because that would be good if we could get a parchment fragment. Oh, are those kangaroos? What the heck? Hey, buddy. Friend? I guess your friend. Look at this area. Whoa. Kind of, kind of got some uh, interesting generation. How do we get over this? Oh, an elephant. What the? Well, unfortunate. No chest. We're moving on. You know what I just noticed is I forgot about the, uh, the changes with the skills. We have a bunch of different stuff now, but I don't know exactly how much it's changed. I noticed the jump height. Our attack speed, does it seem faster? Oh yeah, it's way faster. Whoa. And then we can also get the strong fist, which gets more melee damage. But I haven't been testing how much I've been doing. But I definitely feel stronger, if that, if that means anything. Whoa. Hey you, let me test my melee damage. Oh! I don't think the forest spirits are going to like that one. I really should have made another waystone and brought it with me. Okay, we got a pillager fort. Bop, bop, bop. Bop. Okay, I hope we're strong enough for this. Huh, 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 huh. Oh gosh, now we can't go to a village. I totally forgot. We need to milk a boy. Oh, the bees are kind of nice. And they, I was scared they were going to attack me if I uh, accidentally hit them. Okay, we got rid of most of the boys. So let's get rid of uh, the rest of them. What do we got here? Streamline Doom Crossbow of Dexterity. Sounds good. Stalwart Battle Iron. A Battle Hood of Iron. We needed a helmet. That's cool. Another... Ooh. Shredding Grace of the Titan. I guess... Okay, it's almost nighttime. And I think I have a sleeping bag that I didn't bring. Whoops. <laughs> um, This could be very bad. Oh, no. There's wool right here. Okay, good. Oh, you. You, you, you. Hey, get back. Get back. All right, quest to find parchment continues. It looks like we got a bunch of stuff over here to look at. It doesn't look like any of it is 
a village, which is very unfortunate because I think that's the only thing we need. <laughs> or at least it's the only safe thing we can loot. What is this? Oh, it's another one of these temples. All right, so we learned from the first episode that we got to be careful of the silverfish boys. Okay, I think this one's safe. There's a way to check, and I think it's by using... So, see how this one breaks fast? That means that's the silverfish block. So, we need to avoid breaking the ones that break fast. Okay. Safe. <gasps> Not safe. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. How do I know? Ah! Okay, okay. We must reevaluate our plan here. Oh, you know what? We took him out in one hit, so maybe that was enough to not spawn another one. All right, we'll see how this goes. Oh, okay. This one seems safe. And I think we're good. And then there wasn't TNT in here. Ooh. There was not TNT in here, if I remember. Okay, we got some... We got a scythe. We got corrupted seeds. Using the artifact, we'll move it into a free... Uh, entangling, slowly draining life from its victims. Grow grapple vines, which inflict poison. Oh, what is this? Totem of soul protection. Creates a space around the totem, which, when you or your ally is unalive within it, revives the player. <gasps> totem has magical powers that shield us around it from projectiles. What? There's so many things here. Oh, we got a cool music disc. Okay, we'll play that when we get back. Okay, I think that's everything. This is, wait, this is the last chest. Beehive boots. Okay, there doesn't seem to be anything too good in this one. All right, that faction battle is going on, so we're just going to run. Oh, is that a spawner? What the heck is it doing right there? <laughs> oh, a bunch of obsidian and anvil. A few endermen spawn eggs. That's kind of cool. Um, I guess we don't need two of those. Okay, our inventory is kind of looking full. And we're not seeing a village yet. Another problem is we still have this. Oh, you know what? There was a bucket back there, and I think I saw some cows. Let's go back there and grab that. Oh, and then there's this. Oh, this could be really good. Oh, this is exactly what I think it is. Oh, yeah. And then there's there should be a golden apple in here, which is good. And then we should be able to get... Oh, oh my gosh, a climbing vest? We got a bunch of interesting things in here. Lost eye. That's another thing we need. Good, good, good. Okay, so we want the splash potion of weakness, and then we want that golden apple. And then we can cure a villager back at the base, but I don't think we want to... We'll just wait till we see a zombie villager back at our house. That's going to be good, though. We can get a mending boy. Or, I mean, I guess we already have... We got a mending boy in the stream, but uh, we could get a cheap mending boy. Boom. Okay, that's how you do that. All right, and then we're just going to take a boat and try to find some more land. Hopefully with a village. There's a zombie with a crossbow down there. Ah, oh, what the frick? My boat! My boat! <laughs> I didn't even know that was possible. There's underwater creepers. Oh, what is that thing? It just summoned minions. Okay, we are going to run away from that. <laughs> I would feel a lot more comfortable if we, uh, closer to our base, which we are not. Hey, toucans. What's up, dude? Oh, and we're also level 23 now, which means we can upgrade. I want to just keep upgrading my melee damage, because that's also going to be useful. I just want to max out melee damage and attack speed, and that should be, that should be pretty helpful. What the heck? <laughs> what is this? Hello? What do you got for for sale? <laughs> He's got an elephant. Why? Does that mean I could tame an elephant? That'd be crazy. Oh, and there is these. I did. I learned that these actually have hidden chests. I don't remember where. There it is. See, see, see. Okay. Uh. Ooh, blaze rod. That'll be helpful since we haven't gone to the Nether yet. <laughs> oh no, the rhino. Oh no, the rhino. Ah! No rhino! No rhino! Bad rhino! Bad rhino! That was almost so bad. Oh gosh, we're lagging. Run, 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 run. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was so close. Okay, so we got a thingy right here. A little ship. And then, oh gosh, there's... Wait. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna go there. <laughs> okay, let's look at this first. Is there like supposed to be a chest here? Am I am I just doing this wrong? Do I have an axe? I still don't have an axe, which is a little unfortunate, but that's okay. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. Um, ooh, Infernal Diamond uh, the Duelist. Okay, I guess we really- what is this? Anchor? 11 attack damage. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know if any of this is good, but it's all so interesting. Okay, I, I'm curious about what's up here. We're going there. Maybe we won't find the parchment fragment this episode, which is kind of sad, but we'll get to it eventually when we find one. But maybe this, uh, like, super sky city might have one. That'd be kind of nice. Oh, I hear a lot of stuff. Okay. All right, we're going to go to the water. The water's maybe safer. All right, can we build up without getting knocked off? Is that is that a possibility? Oh, no, they're just going to fly up. Okay, well, let's just see what happens. At least we're over water, so we're, like, semi-safe. Okay, their arrows can't reach me. That's good. I don't know what we're getting ourselves into. I don't want to stop, but I want to... Oh, God, we are so far away. Oh, I just upgraded my jump boost. Look at this. It's like the perfect height to go, go super fast up. It's going to be so unfortunate if we get knocked down. I hope this is a peaceful spot and not something hostile. There's the ship and we're still... Oh my gosh, this thing is so high. Are we out? Okay, we got a little bit more right here. Oh, it's got green, which means friends, right? I'm so nervous. <laughs> There's chests, so that's good. Hello? Boots, feathers, emeralds. We don't need any of this. All right, do you guys have any parchment fragments? That would be very nice. We got some blessed iron leggings. Oh, we got diamonds. I didn't even realize that at first. That's so beautiful. Oh, what's going on in there? Hi. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, we gotta find a parchment fragment. You guys... Okay. Oh! That was... Okay, it's scripted. Whole video is scripted. Okay, we got one parchment fragment. Can we do two? Can we make two happen? There's also emerald ore, which is kind of nice. Grab all those we see. Um, and ooh, there's a brewing stand. We need you. I'm hoping we can get one more parchment thing. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, of course. Oh, we got two. Nice. Okay, that's really good. Come on, one more. No, we didn't get one. Seven armor. That's good. Okay, I think that's everything, so I'm just gonna jump. And we are gonna hope for the- Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, okay, I cut that a little close. Okay, we're good. We're good, nothing to worry about here. Oh, I see you. Not today, buddy. Give me that pickaxe. Come on, just drop it for me. You know you wanna. Oh, it actually dropped. Oh my gosh, we got a diamond pickaxe. That's so epic. Now, if only my old weapons would come back. Okay, home and safe. Let's set our spawn. Let's do a loot dump. And we should probably upgrade our backpack. I think we can also do that. We definitely can afford it. Is this... Can we just do that? Is that... Is this the same mod I'm thinking? <gasps> Iron backpack. Wait, does that mean we can just go to gold? Gold? Gold backpack? <gasps> How big is this? Oh! Okay, that's good. <laughs> that is really good. Okay, so we got three parchment fragments. We can use these to make the various... Abilities. Magnetism doesn't sound like something we need just yet. Auto XP bank is interesting. I don't know if we have an enchantment bottle, though. Oh, well. We'll get to that one eventually. So what are the other ones we can make? Um, We can make a crafter, which is crafting table, ironing it, and ender pearl. And we just drop that together. All right, let's do that. So ender pearl, crafting table, and an iron ingot. And then we just drop these all together. Is that how that works? So boom. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, it's sparkling. Oh. New skill crafter unlocked. Abilities crafter. Oh, does that mean... Oh, this is just a portable crafting table. Can we keybind this? It doesn't look like you can keybind it. All right, what are the other ones we can make? 
Um, Enchanter is kind of the one I want to make. Not diamond. Uh, enchantment table. Which we don't... Oh, I didn't grab the books. Oh, that's so sad. We don't have a lot of leather. Oh, we have three leather. That's actually... <laughs> we have... We have been so lucky with things today. That's I'm loving this. I'm really liking how it's going so far. All right, let's take this and let's take this and let's go like this. Wait. Oh, wait, we need more paper than that. Okay, so this should give us our enchantment table. Or, sorry. Oh, we need one more book. Oh, we have 24 books right there. Okay, well, we could have just been using those the whole time. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so and it was an ender pearl, correct, that it needed? Oh, there was one. Okay, so, Inner Pearl, Books up, do, 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 and you. Did I do something wrong? Does it have to be an oak bookshelf? I guess that's what it is. That's probably the problem. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, yeah, sparkle for me. All right, well, that does that. I want to see the other ones. Blacksmith is the only other one. Is an anvil. We did get one of those on our trip, so that's easy. And then, okay, that's done. Does that mean we can just enchant on the go with our Book of Skills? Let's just pretend like we're going to enchant that, I guess. Uh. Oh. Why is our enchant power zero? I don't know how to... Oh, wait. Enchant power. Slot for book. Wait, so if we put in books into that, does that mean that we get... Enchant power 15. So wait, let's take another tool, I guess. Um, I guess we could do that good iron pickaxe we got. So, enchant... Level 30 enchantment in... Oh my gosh, what? That's crazy. <laughs> so now we have permanent enchanting. Now, the real question is, if it's in my backpack, does it work? It does. It does work. Or does... Does it, do I just not even need to have it? Hold on. So if we put in the crafting table, what do we do? Oh, so do we just not even need to have that on us right now? I'm going to keep it on us just in case. Okay, we'll keep it right there. And then the last one was the anvil, which we needed... Anvil, emerald, and ender pearl. Which I don't know if we have... Oh, we're out of ender pearls. All right, we'll have to do the anvil one another time, but I think that's going to do it for the skills book and all of the cool stuff around it, like exploring, getting the parchment fragments. It looks like they're mostly in villages. I'm not really sure, but yeah, that's going to do it. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.